Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the iPhone 7. This is last year's model. It's been used for an entire year until the iPhone 8 came out. It was, it was used from the first day that the iPhone 7 came out until the day the iPhone 8 came out, and it's held up really well. So I want to talk about one year later and how this phone is doing. Now, the first thing is the design. As you can see, it's the jet black model, and this is probably my favorite color that they've ever made on any iPhone. It's got a really nice look. I like it a little bit better than the iPhone 8 Plus's space gray look, although it's hard to tell on camera, but in person, this is just a little bit nicer and, and just richer looking, I guess is the best way to describe it. It looks really nice. It's a fingerprint magnet. I've touched it very little after cleaning it and it's still got fingerprints all over it. Now it came in a couple other colors as well, but this was kind of the iconic design last year. Now this was used every single day and like I showed it held up well and it's been in a case the entire time. So it was an Apple case, usually a red case or something along those lines. It was changed regularly and the phone was taken out every once in a while to clean it off. It does not have a whole lot of scratches on it or anything like that. There might be some really minor ones that you can see in very bright light, but it's held up pretty well overall. It wasn't dropped and it's had a screen protector on the front the entire time. And I'll link that in the description below. If you're interested, you can see that it's chipped in the corner. Uh, this maybe it was dropped and I didn't realize that, but it was chipped in the corner and that's about it. It started to wear out or chip down here. And I don't know if that's from nails hitting it. Probably not. So maybe it was dropped and I didn't realize it, but basically this design is carried over from the six, six S seven, and now on to the eight. And the only difference with the new design is a glass back as far as the way it looks for the most part. So if you didn't have this in a case, you probably would have a lot of scratches on it. This was the first phone where Apple eliminated the headphone jack. Unfortunately, I think that's still a mistake, even though it's not in the new iPhones, but but it's not in this one and they said they did it for courage so you'd buy airpods basically but this particular one is holding up really well now as far as the battery is concerned with this phone you'll see it's a little bit low it hasn't been used a whole lot lately since the iphone 8 has been out but it's holding up well and the battery lasted throughout the day with normal usage now just like any iphone 6, 6s, or 7, depending on the version of iOS. This is on iOS 10.3.3 still. I like to leave them on the previous version or kind of the more modern version that they came with when they came out. And then uh, compared with the newer version, it does slow down a little bit and battery life is, is not the greatest at the current time. So they'll have some updates for that, but the phone still feels fast. So if you have this phone, maybe you just pick it up. Even if it has iOS 11 on it, it should still feel pretty fast. Things are going to move around. Okay. Folders are going to open and close. If you want to go in the camera real quick, it's going to open pretty quickly. You shouldn't have any issues with it feeling slow, especially if you're coming from an older iPhone. So there's really nothing to worry about as far as that goes. I don't think this generation of iPhone is really going to feel too slow and it gets many of the features of the iPhone eight. There's a few that it doesn't get true tone as far as the display is concerned that changes the display temperature. So it looks a little bit more natural. It doesn't get the newer sensor for the camera and it also doesn't get wireless charging. Other than that, this is probably the phone to get when it comes to picking up an iPhone if you've never had one. Now you could always go for the newer and more expensive ones, but I think you'd be just as happy with this particular one because it doesn't feel old yet. It's the same design as the iPhone eight minus those features. Now, as far as the camera is concerned, even though they didn't upgrade it, it's still a really good camera. It doesn't have portrait mode unless you get the dual camera lenses of the plus models of the iPhone seven, but it's nice and fast. It takes quick, quick, photos. It's got burst photos and everything for the most part works really well. Video is phenomenal out of it. It's one of the better cameras when it comes to video and most people, unless they're really into photography and if they are, they're probably not going to use a camera phone are going to be very happy with this particular device for the camera. Now, one of the bonuses you get with the iPhone seven, now that it's a year older is it's come down in price about a hundred dollars. So if you were to buy one new, you'll find it about a hundred dollars cheaper. If you find one used, you'll find it a lot cheaper. And like I said, it's a great design. There's not a whole lot more to go into it other than it has dual speakers. Instead of having that headphone jack, you get a microphone on one side headphone or speaker on the other side where the headphone jack was, 
and your lightning port, of course, but you've also got a speaker here that acts as a front facing speaker. So when you're watching video, maybe on YouTube, this video, you'll have two speakers that you can hear. So it's in stereo. It's not as good as if you had two sitting directly in front of you, but it's much better than just having the one. The speaker is loud, it's clear and works pretty good overall. I don't know that there's much more to go into with this particular phone other than to say it does not feel that old. If you didn't upgrade, I wouldn't feel bad about that, especially since there's a few bugs that come with the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 not having a home button, if that's something that you really must have, isn't going to have that. You've got Touch ID, it's, it's reliable, it's worked well for years, and on the iPhone 7, it's plenty fast. You're not going to have any issues there whatsoever. So I think that's it for the iPhone seven. One year later, I'll continue to do these sort of update videos and see how they hold up over time. As you can see, I've got a bunch of fingerprints just from holding it right now. So it's best left in a case, although it looks great. Uh, it's hard to keep clean without keeping a, a microfiber cloth around to continually wipe it off. Let me know your thoughts about this phone in the comments below, though. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the 7. Did you upgrade? Are you going to upgrade? Are you going to wait another year? Or maybe you stuck with the 6S because you wanted the headphone jack. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time. <music>